three-year-olds learning numbers with Button Bear. And these are the Bible uh, memory cards. Could be the party. interested in your pretty shoes. No, Daddy has to use them. Oh, there goes the chickens. <laughs> they think it looks good. Chickens are going to be very happy. Is that dog? That was no, 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 Okay. Okay. And this is uh, kitty cats. Don't eat kitty cats. Okay. What are you doing, Sarah? Blocks. You're playing with blocks? Yeah. The monkey's talk. The monkey's talking? Yeah. This is a carrot. A carrot? It sure is. Yeah, that's my service. <laughs> Don't eat it. <laughs> oh! Don't eat it. You're supposed to eat carrots. He's hungry. Don't do that, monkey. That's scary. <laughs> I wanted to add uh, to the video of our homeschool curriculum, so we'll leave a link to that video down below so you guys can check it out. But um, and I, these are some more things that we've ordered that I said we haven't gotten yet. And there are still some more things that we haven't gotten, and I'll show you when we get those. But these are what we have so far. Um, uh, the Learning with Button Bear. And it goes along with the um, homeschool preschool curriculum. So that's in the video down below, too. This is the first activity they have. And it gives you the skills right here and the concepts. And it's counting to 10, hand-eye coordination, coloring. You like your new book, Sarah? She likes the donkey. Can you say donkey? Donkey. Donkey. And then this is the second activity. And it gives you the simple directions. How many dogs are there? And then, of course, the child counts the dog and colors the dog. And let's go, like, halfway through concept six. Count the balls on the button bear's hat, and then there's six, and then they have to color it. It's real, um, real simple. Well, not real simple to them, but you know, it's easy for the teacher or parent to understand. So that's what I mean by simple and easy. And just a real brief flip through, and it goes all the way to ten. Uh, this is the two-year-olds learning numbers with button bear. So we'll be doing that this coming up school year. And these are the Bible uh, memory cards. And they have the big ones, and I think they're like big, like this big and this wide. But we got the small ones, and um, because they're um, more affordable, they're like $3 and something. But, um, and it has the, the front card with um, directions of how to use them and I think a couple tips on there too and and this one is pre pre school to K4 and um, ages 2 to 4 um, I'll go for the verses and um, what's really interesting about these is that on the back of every card this, this is the first card Genesis 1-1 in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And on the back, right here, it has the picture for the child to see. And the parent reads the verse and gives the um, book and the chapter and verse. And then this is for the parent. Um, it's for ages 2, 3, and 4-year-olds. And not all of them are for all the ages. There are a few of them that are for just the 3s and 4s, such as this one. And that's the picture. I really don't know why they don't have two-year-olds on there. Because it's pretty simple. And you can never start too early with the Bible verses kind of thing. That's what. That's just my what I think. 
like I said, you can still do your show them to your two year old. I mean, Whoa, just don't just don't be surprised when they don't name. memorize it. <laughs> so is this five? Where are you? Go rubber band. Yeah, so I put it on there. When okay. you go, when it goes, hey, when you put it on the block, it's sticky. Hmm. Brown. Yeah. I swap it and put it on <laughs> with this. I put it on when it goes in the room five. And put it with that. <clears throat> Do it. Do it. And put it with that. Oh, wow. And because it's going to be number five. Put it on your seagull. Put it on your seagull. Put it on your seagull. And these are why we are going to put it on your seagull. Why do we be fun? Why do we show a pin like this? This one is a rule. What can I do? And pin is doing you show you a seven. Yeah. And counter showing you a seven. Pin is doing you a show you this. Put it in like this. When you write on it. Mmm. This is a nice thing. Go to bed at the bottom and go poop. Poop is part. You going potty? Yeah, we have just a big poop. A big poop? Yeah. Ooh. Poop is a potty. Yeah. That is poop is a potty. And this one is have this one. Is, oh, oh. <laughs> How are you going to win this one? And that poop. I have a queen of the ride back. All right. That would be soon. So apparently there's a poop here somewhere that she's clean up. Oh, she's gonna go get a wipe. I got the wipes! You got the wipes? Yeah, and here's your stuff. <laughs> and the queen of soy these are no see where we're all going. Hey, so in the song. A pee pee. The wipe, you cleaning it? Good job, Sierra. You are right there, I'll share your mouth. That was a messy poop. This is on the wig. got everywhere, huh? Yeah, everywhere. He had a blowout. Yeah. <laughs> I got a diaper. You got a diaper? Yeah, but you put it really long and put it in sticky on the Amazon. Put it on, put it like this, and put it where it goes. Put it where it goes. I put it on his butt. So put it on his butt. Yeah, put it so on. It just shape. Hold it. And put the bitch with it on the ship. And now I will hold her. And we'll wrap it in. And we'll wrap it back in. Oh, we go poop in. It's our duty. Come here. It's our duty. It's our duty. Where are we going? It will take it and run it in the bath. Alright. You yeah, so do this. We will be showing the bath. Right like this. So. And now we sit. You sit them. You sit them. And now we rest for some. Rest for some. With my. Cough, cough, cough. Oh, here it is. Oh, here you get. Let me get it. Here. Right. No, it's just, uh, there you go. And you wash them. Mm-hmm. Put it on your hands like this. Oh. Uh, oh. You're all clean. All clean? Yeah. Good job. I'm right there. There you go, right there. Okay. Hey. Oh, he took a nap. I'll take this off. Yeah. Just want to wipe in. Yeah. I have a free Abeka magazine. It's called Abeka Amazing, <laughs> and it's for homeschool. And down here it says it's um, summer 2017 issue one volume one, and then it gives you um, a layout of what this book's about. 
and I was just reading six ways to create a more meaningful family vacation. And that's a pretty good article. I really like it. And about how to uh, do more things around the house instead of going on a vacation across the country. It's more like a staycation. It gives you all these cool ideas and stuff. And I really think that's pretty neat. But I'll open it up, the first page, and here's the contents right here. And they give you pretty good tips. And at the end, they'll give you these teacher-tested tips. That's the uh, Vacation with a Vision article that they have. Like, one of them is, for a staycation, <laughs> camp in your backyard. Or chase an ice cream truck and have a treasure hunt. And then it gives you sections of the school age, that it, whichever one you're working with. Like, mine's preschool. I would, of course, read this. But if I'm interested or family, you know, I have some kindergartner families. Read that. And then it goes to... Mom, the nutritionist, and it gives you these uh, cute snack ideas, like this little sunflower here, and this butterfly fruit bag. And it comes with a poster, um, Gallon Bot. It shows you how to break down a gallon and how many cups are in a gallon, how many pints and stuff like that. And I thought that was really cute. I thought that was really, really cute. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this off. And I'm gonna put it on one of our walls every year. I think that's really cute. And then it has the elementary student, your high school student, and it um, goes to prepare to be. This is um, a homeschool family, and it gives you their their life story and there's and how they homeschool and stuff like that. So that that'll be really beneficial to read. And a recipe down here. It gives you a nice recipe. And some great ideas for teaching for homeschool. And then it has a section for your graduate right here. And then the teacher tested tips. And it gives you real short paragraphs. It, the subscription is free. And I'm not really sure how often they do it. Um, but you can go on the ABEC website and uh, subscribe it for free. And I'll leave a link for that down below, too, for you guys. And that's it. Those are the three things that we've gotten that are new. And I'm still getting some more, um, like, like the big uh, story time with Amber Lamb. I didn't know, but they were, like, this big, I think. I don't know, but um, we're going we're gonna to have to get those. And we haven't gotten them yet. But we still have time. We don't have to start teaching her until, like, September or something like that. And it's the 40 weeks, so. so I'll let you guys know when we get those materials and I'll show you all of those. Yeah, I need to get some new shoes. See my toes are broken through on that side. Uh, see my sock on that side. Look at daddy's shoes, Daryl. It's pretty bad. And look, see how it's torn. So we gotta go get some new shoes. How about these, Jeremy? These are nice. <laughs> 